So last week we spoke、uh, we spoke about this example here using a while loop to really produce an arithmetic sequence whose size is indefinite. I.e., we actually try to make sure the last elements or the maximum elements in the arithmetic sequence is actually less than or equal to some maximum value specified by the user. And I promised I'm going to trace the code together with you using both the iPad and also、uh, debugger. So that's something I promised you to do. And I think it's quite、uh, important to、uh, know this for your learning. Let's do it together to start the week. And then I'll go on to give you some new examples. And then we'll introduce arrays and then do many more examples for the rest of the week. Okay. So this will be the code I would suggest before you、uh, continue with the video. Uh, take a look at the,、uh, this method over here, specifically、uh, get sequence to B. So this one is using the while loop, and you can see the equivalent version using the for loop、uh, in two A. But we're going to focus on this version、uh, specifically, and then you can also see the JUnit tests over here. If you click on that,、uh, the last test about、uh, test get sequence to B. So this is an、uh, example that we tested. I'm gonna trace this together with you. I'm gonna first do it on the paper using my iPad, and then I'm gonna use the debugger as well for completeness. All right. So so let's now switch to iPad over here. Okay. So I kind of put the,、uh, the two relevant classes together. So this is the JUnit test where we are trying to call get sequence to B, which is defined under the utilities class over here. Okay. Let's see exactly how things will work. And remember, now we are、uh, we are now focusing on using the loops in the context of utility classes. But later on, I can give you another example about using loops in the context of console application. But for your labs and also for your、uh, programming test, typically we assume you should always do all the implementation under the utility class. Okay, let's see how we can、uh, trace this. Let's start with so the、uh, starting point for execution will be、uh, this method over here, the JUnit test method. Let's start from there. Okay, so we are calling utility start get sequence to B over here. We're calling that, and then we're calling three, five, and twenty. Okay, and then you can see this method here is referring to exactly this method over here, right? And then whenever you're calling a method or a function, you should really uh, be uh, familiar with. Every、uh, input over here we call arguments. Okay,、uh, it's a very quick recap. So these are the arguments. Argument number one is three. Argument number two is five. Argument number three is actually twenty. And then the corresponding in the corresponding position for the methods, you can see we also got ft.、Uh, we got ft. We got d. And also we got max. So these are called parameters. Sometimes people、uh, just like to call these uh, just uh, this. These terms over here simply just、uh, arguments as well, but I think it's really good to make some uh, uh, distinction. Whenever I talk about parameters, I'm really talking about the variables for the input, like f t, d, and max. And whenever I talk about arguments, I'm really saying when you are trying to invoke a method, what kind of input value you put over here. One is in the usage context we call arguments. The other one is in the definition context where we call parameters. Okay, just make that distinction over there properly. All right. So for this particular call, so three, five, and twenty. So that means we got three, five, and twenty. More specifically, every occurrence of ft is going to be replaced by three. So ft over here will be three. Okay. Let's see anything else. Okay. I think that's it. That's the only occurrence of ft that's being used. And also, every occurrence of d is going to be replaced by five. So let's see where we have. So d over here is going to be replaced by. Five over here, okay. That's the only one, and also every occurrence of max is going to be replaced by twenty. So max is over here, so that'll be replaced by twenty. All right, that's about it. And let's now、uh, trace the code line by line. You can imagine that if you're using the uh, uh, debugger, what you would do is you're gonna set the breakpoint exactly over here, and then you're gonna make sure you pause、uh, right before executing this line. And then gonna step into right, which we'll do、uh, later. But as soon as I say step into, I'm gonna be in this particular、uh, line over here, the first line of the method I'm stepping into. In that case, I already talked about ft being three, d being five, and also max being twenty. Right? We spoke about it already. Okay. So now I don't need to draw the box for you, so you can see we are trying to use a、uh, very、uh, several variables. We got local variables. Right? We got turn, we got sum, and also we got n. 
over here. I'm just going to put the values beside them, you know, whenever I need to use them. Okay, so just for convenience. Let's now trace line by line. For the first line, we got string result is simply just empty string. All right, simply just empty. You know what? Let me put the result over here. That could be interesting to see exactly what's going on over here. Okay, result is going to be a string. So I'll put result over here. All right, over here. Initially, just empty. Okay, I'll just put empty. Nothing here, just empty string. And then uh, the second line over here, the turn is going to be three. Okay. If you like, you can also draw a box. Okay, it's simply an integer. So the turn is simply just three. And then the result plus equal. And this so-called augmented assignments. So this is equivalent to result is assigned to result, the current value, plus the angle brackets, right? Just to remind you. So that means this one here is going to be replaced by just angle brackets, right? Empty string concatenated with angle brackets. So that'll be just angle brackets. All right, we also got another two variables over here. We got sum and also we got n. Okay, so here we got another one. So this will be the sum, which will be zero. And also we got uh, n over here, which is also zero, right? We got four variables that are, that are local. All right, so now it's really important to see how we can trace the loop over here. So now we are now checking the uh, state condition. Okay, remember we say that as long as the state condition is actually true, we're gonna keep executing uh, another uh, iteration. And for each uh, for each iteration, we're going to execute basically the the body of the loop. Okay, so let's now go for the first iteration because the current turn you can see turn less than or equal to twenty. Right, turn is currently just uh, three. 3 less than or equal to 20 is going to be true. So that means we're going to execute the body for, for the loop for the very first time, the first iteration. Okay, first of all, we do n plus plus, right? And you can think about n is basically the size of the uh, the size of the, the sequence that we have built so far. So since we know that we're going to need at least one item there, right? The turn, uh, that'll be the first term, which will be three. And three is actually less than or equal to max. So that means we can still, this item should be included in the sequence. If that's strictly larger than the max, so that means we shouldn't include it, right? That's a logic. So n plus plus, so that's going, going to be from zero to one, okay? And then we're gonna go for this line here, result plus equal, turn. So the turn is actually three over here. So now that means result is going to be replaced by angle brackets concatenated with three over here and then also we got result plus equal space so there should be another space over here i'll put something like this and then uh okay that's about for the result okay so that'll be the string okay and then we're gonna have the sum should be uh incremented by the term sum plus equal right you can see uh i'm using lots of uh, augmented assignment here so make sure you understand uh, what that really means so sum plus equal term so we know that sum is actually zero plus equal turn. So zero plus three would be three. All right, so that's a sum. And then turn plus equal five. So that, that's for us to figure out the next turn in the sequence. But next turn in the sequence may or may not exceed the uh, maximum value, like a 20 over here. It may or may not, but we'll see. And then turn plus equal five. So turn currently is actually three. So that means it's going to be three plus five. That would be eight over here, all right? So far, so good. And now, let's, let me use another color here. Let me use green. So now, uh, the turn is now going to be eight. So we're gonna check the uh, state condition for the second time. So now, eight less than or equal to 20 is going to be true. So that means we're going to execute the body of the loop for the second time. All right, let's do one by one quickly. And then again, we're gonna increment, we're going to uh, increment uh, n, the number of turns, so n is going to be incremented from one to two. And then result is going to be, uh, these two lines is going to be uh, is going to be concatenated with the current turn and also empty space. The current turn is actually eight, right? So that's going to be uh, basically replaced by three space. And then also we got the current turn, which is eight and then space. Okay, you can see the by the turn and also by the space, right? Hopefully you, you are still following. And then the sum is going to be incremented by the turn. Sum is currently three, right? It's going to be incremented by uh, the eight. So it's going to be three plus eight, that'll be 11. 
And then the turn is going to be incremented by 5. So we can calculate the next turn. And the turn is going to be rather than 8 plus 5 is going to be 13. Right? So that's the uh, new value. Right? You can see that's uh, what's happening in the second iteration. We are basically just repeating the, repeating the same pattern over here for every iteration. All right? That's, uh, th that's really the essence for uh, this particular uh, uh, loop over here. Right? So it seems like we should really keep going. Right? For completeness, let's keep going. Okay? Let's do it one more time. Let me use a or uh, orange over here. Right? You can see current, uh, so now the value is actually 13. Right? So now 13, uh, and we're going to check this uh, condition here. So 13 less than or equal to 20 is going to be true. So we're going to execute this body of the loop for the third time. Right? Let's do it quickly. Increment n plus plus. So n is going to be go from 2 to 3. And also result plus equal turn. Uh, and also plus equal space. What that will do is this is going to be replaced by so 3 space 8 space from before. What's the current turn? The current turn is actually 13. So that's going to be 13 and then space. Okay. And then with the uh, quote. Okay. And then sum is going to be incremented by the turn. Uh, the turn is 13, right? 13 plus 11 is going to be 24. All right. And then turn is going to be incremented by 5. So 13 by 5 will be 18. All right. And that's it. That will be the end of the, uh, the iteration. So, so far, how many iterations have we got? We got three iterations so far, right? You can see the first one was the, uh, the blue one. And then the second one is the green one. The third one is the orange one, right? Just make sure you don't get lost. Since uh, we need one more to really get 18, why don't we do it, you know, for completeness, okay? Let me now use uh, maybe purple over here. Okay, so currently the value is actually 18. So we're going to check the while loop for the fourth time over here, right? So now it would be 18. So 18 less than or equal to 20 for the state condition is going to be true. So that means we're going to execute the body of the loop for another time, right? So now n plus plus is going to be increment uh, increment that from 3 to 4, all right? And then result plus equal the current turn and also space. So that means this will be replaced by, let me write it here, used to be 3 space 8 space 13 and space. And what's the current turn? The current turn is actually 18 over here. So that's going to be 18 and then space over here. And then that's it. And then we're going to increment the sum by the turn. Sum is 24 by the turn 18. So if you do it, it's going to be, uh, I believe, 42. That's the sum. All right. Once you get a sum, uh, and then you're going to uh, increment the turn by 5. So turn 18 by 5 is going to be 23. All right. So that's the updates. So now let's see what's going to happen. So now here's a critical point. You can see 23 over here is actually going to make the turn less than or equal to max, right? 23, uh, let me write it down over here. 23 less than or equal to 20 is going to be false, apparently. So that tells you you should exit from the loop. So that means the last, the very last item you will get, uh, the string. That you should really expect a return. So far, it should be only include up to 18 over here and with the space. We haven't got a closing angle bracket just yet, but we will. Okay. You can see we pretty much finish up to over here. Okay. Except for the closing angle brackets. All right. So let's continue. So now if you try to do this, uh, we are exit from the loop. One thing very important for you to note, when you exit from the loop, when you exit from the loop, so that means the state condition is not the case. It is not the case that uh, turn is less than or equal to max in general. So this is equivalent to, according to the law for the logical negation, it would be the turn is strictly larger than max. So this is also something important for you to note. Okay. All right. Uh, let's now finish that. Uh, result will be plus equal and other angle brackets. So that means you're going to add an angle bracket exactly over here. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And then you're going to say has average over here, right? Has average. I'm just going to write it here, right? You can see the crow should, should, uh, end, the ending crow shouldn't be here. Has average. I'll say AVG just for short. And then how do we calculate this? Okay. You can see over here the sum is actually the last value for the sum will be 42. And then what about the uh, N? How many numbers do we have? We got N number over here, 4. Okay. 
However, remember when you try to do casting over here, double and 42 should be executed first. You can refer to your notes uh, for elementary programming. So this part here would be as if we say 42.0. So this part over here is going to be executed first. That's going to give you 42.0 uh, divided by four is going to give you not just the integer quotient, but a, a, a result with precision, which will be exactly uh, 10.5. All right, so that's exactly what you see over here. All right, and then you simply return the result. You can think about the result over here is simply uh, has average uh, 10.5. So this entire uh, string value over here we have accumulated so far is really going to be returned as a result. You can think about this part over here is really the return value. Let me just emphasize that. You can think about this part over here would be the return value. The return value from this particular method call, right? So that means the result over here is going to store whatever the return value is, which is over here. And then that will certainly match uh, this particular expected string. All right, so that's why the uh, uh, J, -unit uh, J unit test will pass. All right, there's a very detailed tracing together with you. You can see a little bit tedious over here since we actually got one, two, th we got one, uh, how many iterations? We got one, two, three, four four iterations to really generate one, two, three, four items until the very fifth one, which is 23, is going to uh, is going to violate uh, the uh, state condition over here. That's why 23 was not included. All right, so that's about a uh, very detailed tracing on the paper uh, that I didn't really do uh, last week. So hopefully that will uh, complete the picture for you.